How's it going, everybody? This is my first video on YouTube uh, for my channel, Taylor Bricks. Um, Taylor Bricks is going to be a channel that we're going to do hauls, we're going to do uh, unboxings, we're going to do uh, brick link stuff, brick owl, and just a day in the life, sometimes vlogging uh, of someone that does selling on Bricklink, has a collection of Lego and many other things. And it's just going to be a fun channel, and I hope you enjoy it. If you like what you see, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, you know, comment down below. I'm happy to answer any questions you have or, you know, whatever you might want to say, happy to hear it. Um, again, we're going to have a lot of fun on this channel, and let's start this video off with a uh, collection tour. We're going to do a tour of my sealed sets is, uh, that I currently keep a good amount in my garage, as you can see by the background um, in my garage. Um, we're also going to take a look at my office uh, where I house my Bricklink store, my you know computer, my other collect my other collections that I have, um, more, you know more Lego and just some random fun toys and games and you know things I enjoy. So looking forward to this journey with you guys. I'm excited about starting this channel and. Um, get myself out there and, and what I have. Um, my Brooklyn store is called Tailored Bricks. It's the same as this channel's, um, what this channel's called. So again, hope you enjoy and happy to share this journey with you. So I'm gonna turn you around right now. I'm gonna show you my sealed collection of Lego that I have in my garage. And then we'll go upstairs to the office uh, to show you everything else, all right? So here's my sealed collection of Lego that I currently house in my garage. Um, I, I like a lot of different types of Lego. If, if it strikes my fancy, if, if I look at it and I like the way it looks, like the minifigures, or just, you know, I think it's going to be fun to build. If I, you know, I might buy a couple to build one and keep one sealed. But this is what I have. Uh, up on the top, we have some bigger sets. Uh, that up there... I'm not sure what that is. That might be the Hogwarts train. Um, yeah, I think that's the Hogwarts train. We got the Titanic, the old fishing store, Home Alone, a couple of bat wings, um, and a Lunar Lander. I do have a good amount of the uh, most past retired wave of Star Wars sets. I just like, I'm not a huge Star Wars collector. But for some reason, this wave of Star Wars, I just really like it. had the Mandalorian in it. Um, so I just like the way the sets were. The minifigs were unique and fun. So I, I went and uh, got most of those. <clears throat> I love the, the pictures. I love the, the any art that Lego does. I really enjoy. Uh, you'll see that in my office. I do have some built sets of, of some of these brick frames or... Brick bus or brick pictures, whatever you want to call them. I can't remember. The sketches it's right on the box. Uh, but I think I have every one they've made. They haven't made too many. They've uh, 10 or something like that, 12 maybe. So they're all here in some capacity. Mickey and Minnie Mouse back there. <clears throat> you know, he has a lot of um, freebies too that, you know, you get in store when you purchase certain amount of Lego, you know, that's what all these three here are, and again, like I said, I, my collection's very randomized, if I like it, I get it, here are some older sets down below, I've had this collection for, well, some of this collection for over eight years now, um, and so I have some older stuff, like some Metal Beard Sea Cow from the Lego movie, uh, my, one of my favorite sets of all time, the, uh, the, the um, 71042, the Pirates of the Caribbean boat, uh, the uh, Silent Mary. I believe that's called the Silent Mary. I'm blanking. Let's take a look. Yeah, I was right. Silent Mary. <laughs> uh, we got Harry Potter. Uh, this is the the giant uh, Hedwig. I just recently picked that up. I uh, needed it for my 
collection of Harry Potter because I, I did try to collect, I do try to collect as much Harry Potter as I can. Stranger Things, Sealed Set, uh, both The Simpsons House and The Simpsons Quickie Mart. I had a lot of Lego earlier on, my previous home. And I sold a lot of Lego off because we were moving and I needed it for the move. But I just could not get rid of the Simpsons. I just love them too much. Um, so I, I kept those. This is an assembly. No, this is a roller coaster. I'm sorry, this is a roller coaster. Um, Pirates of Booty Bay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yep. I'm sorry. Bo Did I say Booty Bay? Barracuda Bay. Hello. Uh, see, that's the fun stuff we're going to do on this channel. We're going we're gonna to mess up. We're going to have a good time. It's okay. Uh, there's the assembly square. And at the bottom, we got a Nintendo system. Excuse some of this stuff in the way. Let me move this. Nintendo system down there. Here's a Disney castle. Oh, here's the Hogwarts Express right there. I labeled that one. This is the, uh, the corner garage. So this must be uh, Imperial Star Destroyer, I think is that. And down here we have the Hogwarts Castle. We have Diagon Alley. And that's our uh, UCS uh, Millennium Falcon. So this is my sealed collection or part of my sealed collection, I should say, um, that I have. And let's go see the rest up in my office. All right guys, welcome upstairs to my house. We're gonna go into my office now and see my office space. I'm gonna turn you around. There's the door. And I'm gonna come in to the office. Give you a quick pan around of what's going on here. This was a spare bedroom I took over <laughs> to become my office. But yeah, let's go around the room a little bit and we'll go over some of the collection and, and some other things. So, as I told you before, this this channel called Taylor Bricks. That's the name of my Bricklink store. I started a couple weeks ago. Um, here are the Acro Mills that I have hanging up that I'm currently using. This will be expanded, I'm sure. Um, got some sets over there still need to be parted out for Bricklink. And then we have a cabinet full of Pokemon cards and video games that my son and I and my daughter, my wife, enjoy. So that's over there. Sandlot, one of the best movies ever. Killing Me Smalls. Ham. If you know, you know. Little workstation, a shipping workstation. I wanted to, just something separate from my desk to be able to, you know, do some way outs, package some things. You know, I do some sorting there as well. It's a small desk, but it works for smaller sets. Um, my TV has PlayStation 5. We have a Nintendo Switch. Then over here, we have some posters that used to be up on this wall here, but I obviously had to take them down. Uh, they're all Drew Struzan art. So some of my favorite um, posters ever drawn by Drew Struzan. He's a fantastic artist. If, if you don't know who he is, he's not doing too much these days, but he's done all the great classic stuff. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future. Um, unbelievable artist. Harry Potter. So he was at a con one year that I went to a few, a bunch of years ago, um, that I brought some posters to, had him signed. So these are all signed by him. This one it's signed by him and Tim Curry, who's at the top there. I'm a huge Tim Curry fan. Most of you might know him as It or Dr. Frankenfooter from Rocky Horror Picture Show or Home Alone 2, Charlie's Angels, Rooster from the original Annie. Love Tim Curry. Met him at that con as well. So Drew Struzan signed this poster at the bottom. So did Tim Curry. Behind it, I have Hocus Pocus, another one of Drew Struzan's. You can see it was signed as well. Again, one of my favorites. Return to Oz might be one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. Again, a Drew Struzan art signed at the bottom there. Feruza Balk, one of her early works. Uh, you might know her as Adam Sandler's love interest in The Waterboy or in the movie Craft. 
And then just an unbelievable hook poster done by Drew Struzan. Signed by Drew Struzan. All, all these are framed. They're all original movie posters, double-sided. Because um, in my opinion, if you're going to take the time to do this, you know, get something signed or framed, you know, might as well be the original poster. So, we have that. Those will find a new home somewhere at some point. I don't know where because this room's pretty... There's no real available walls in this room. So, um, but eventually. So, over here we have my custom arcade that I picked up a couple years ago, I think it was, in New York. Uh, done by this awesome dude. His name's uh, Vic. Uh, his... His channel is Vic underscore VP, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's his Instagram as well. He just he's just a super guy, very helpful, very knowledgeable. Does some really cool arcade setups, or, uh, pinball. Um, yeah, just a really all around good dude that does some good work. I love this machine. I helped design this. I, I designed this machine actually as far as what I wanted. I wanted a, a heat miser, snow miser from. Uh, the year with uh, without Santa Claus, uh, one of my classic Christmas favorites. So I did that. Some more art. Excuse some of the holes on the wall. I've been moving some things around. Still got to fill some holes um, as things grow, things move. Have to uh, get that done. Excuse the glare. More concept art for movies. There's a movie called Nothing But Trouble uh, with Chevy Chase, Demi Moore. Um, John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. This was the con one of the concept. This was gonna be the poster. Uh, there was a they had a couple different designs. This wasn't the one that was chosen. I got this original pencil um, drawing from the artist Dave Christensen, um, who that's what he did for a living was draw movie posters. Um, one of my other favorite things in the collection uh, some family art down below, and then. This is a, a Glickley print from the original painting for the first cover of the UK edition, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone book. I got it directly from the artist. Um, yeah, I just I stumbled upon I stumbled upon contacting him. He was he had these at the time, and I said, you know, yes, my love of art, my love of Harry Potter, so. I said, yeah, and uh, I have number nine out of 1,000 prints he's, did. he's done, so that's really cool. It's a good size, and it's just fun to think that it came from the original piece of art. So yeah, if we scroll over here, that's my desk set up, uh, my computer, double monitors, up and down. Uh, we have some built Lego over here, the, the Pyramid of Giza. Haunted house. I love history. I love haunted houses. So these two make sense here. <laughs> um, up top we have some more built Lego and these custom cases. Uh, the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, Venom, Grogu, or Baby Yoda. Depends on how you want to label him. But uh, yeah, these are fun and the cases are fun to go with them little plaques and backgrounds it's really fun and then we have over here we have my um, display cases with just a bunch of random different things that I just like seeing on a daily basis so uh, we start at the top on the you know some games over there some signed baseballs again I told you before I have a lot of different things that I like. It's a very eclectic collection, so uh, bear with me there. Uh, some NECA. These are unbelievable, these carved pumpkins. Um, the one to the left is the witch from the original witches, and just Angelica Houston played the great Grand High Witch. That's her, and then that's uh, the all the villains from on the right is all the villains from Return to Oz. We have Mombi, uh, the Gnome King, and the Wheelers. These lit up are just insane. I think this artist who did this one actually live streamed it. And I want to say it took him like 20, it was like six episodes of like two, three, four hours a piece. It was nuts. So 
awesome, awesome stuff. It's an old, old Toy Biz Galactus. I love some, some Galactus. It's a really cool figure. Didn't want to take it out of the box originally, but I'm like, he's too cool not to display, so um, had to do it. Then we have uh, an original movie prop. This is from Robin Hood Men in Tights. Um, if you know the movie, it's from the scene when uh, they're training the villagers to fight. And they go against the dummies on the horses, and the dummies have tin cans as heads. Well, this is the first tin can that you see you know, in the foreground when you're watching that scene. It's the fruit cocktail one, and I was able to obtain it from the prop store. They had it years and years ago. And um, it was a good price, and I love that movie, so I'm like, yeah, let's get that. And again, Harry Potter. I thought this was a great build. Lego. Hungarian Horntail with him on the broom. I love that kind of look. So I wish they did more of that stuff. Um, then inside, uh, the next level down inside the cabinet, which let me just open one of these so you can kind of get a better view with no glare. Um, so I do some pops, as you can see, not, not a ton. Um, I do them mostly, mostly sent, for sentimental value. Uh, if we go see a movie, me and my family, I will get the pops from that movie and I'll write down on the back, you know, who I was with, where we saw it, uh, the date, uh, what theater, et cetera, et cetera. I have a little bit of memory, you know, later on. I thought that was a fun idea. I can remember if I came up with that or if I saw someone else doing it. Nevertheless, I thought it was a fun idea to do. The next level, we have a, a mixture of some Pokemon, sealed Pokemon stuff over there. Some more pops, and then my my favorite toy line ever is Silverhawks from the 80s. Um, a lot of you going, what's Silverhawks? I mean, you might know it now because they just came out, with, came out with a new line, believe it or not. These are from the 80s, though. They're all graded figures. I have those over here. And then there's some more in this cabinet. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So yeah, there's more in this cabinet. I don't have every figure. It's, they're so rare and a good grade, so I kind of buy my time when I when I buy these. I only get specific ones a certain grade, so I don't have every one of them. Some more sealed Lego. Oh, sealed Lego. That's yeah, down there. But uh, some more open Lego here. I do enjoy building Lego as well. And then some books. And turtles stuff. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. It was big. I was Michelangelo growing up, so that's why it's mostly Michelangelo stuff in there. And just some fun stuff. Some trinkets and the new lord of the rings brickheads that came out these were fun to build they're great i'm so happy they're bringing that back lord of the rings uh hobbit anything i'll take it <clears throat> got rid of all my lord of the rings and hobbit sets regretting but it is what it is get some more harry potter again i'm trying try, i think i have mostly every set of harry potter since they re rebirthed it uh, which was 2018, I believe. Not 100%. But I think I have every set they created since then. Sealed. Some have been, you know, I've bought multiples of other ones to open them and build. But uh, most of them are sealed. And again, you see some scattered Pokemon through here. Some older Harry Potter too. A sorting hat. I think there's a room with... The room of Wing Keys is there as well, I believe. I'm just picky when it comes to condition, so I don't have, close these doors, I don't have all the sets I would like because I don't, I don't just buy any box. It has to be in very nice shape for me to get it, and I will hold out until I find it. So we're gonna, oh, I'm going to open the closet now, show you what's in the closet, some more space for... Storage, I have some more BrickLink stuff, uh, bins here, um, 
has the mascot to my Brooklyn store. You'll see him on my. Um, his name is Wiccan. Uh, you'll be a, you'll see his eyes and his mouth, his face on my tailored bricks. That's how I got that. He's mine. And again, yeah, just some shipping supplies, and then more Lego. These are some sets that still need parted out, or I got them at a good deal. Uh, some of my more sealed Harry, uh, bigger Harry Potter sealed sets. Um, my printer set up. Again, Harry Potter, more in the corner there. And then we have some, some random storage stuff, some more Pokemon, um, some... I love the um, minifig series. So I have a good amount. I don't have every single one, but I have a good amount of the series sealed. And I store them up here in my closet. Still some ones I need to get. This is this is series 23, I think, in this bag. I still haven't gotten a bin for yet. Let's check it out. Yep, series 23. All in that bag here. up here but yeah so this is uh, again my closet uh, just extra dump dumping ground and rickling stuff yeah this is again my office in a hole in my rickling store so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed uh, the video um for my first one it was it was fun to show you my collection and things i have in my office if you liked it Please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider leaving a comment. Happy to hear from you guys and love to uh, give you some, give me some feedback and I can reply to you and that'll be fun. So yeah, I hope you again enjoyed the video and look forward to the next one. See you later.